Hello everyone! If you want to create amazing models in Magica Voxel, you need to know what type of brushes you should use and what do they do. Each brush can be used in combination with one of three modes Attach, Erase and Paint. But if you want to see more easily each individual voxel, you can do it by pressing on Edge and see the edges of the model. Grid to see all the different voxels divided by a grid and frame to see them divided by 10 or something else. If you want to select a particular area, you can do it with the select tool and choose box selection, a similar way to interact to the box I explained in the previous video, or by rect and it will interact selecting all the voxels in the area we select passing through the entire scene as you can see. Scrolling the mouse wheel, you can zoom in and out of the model and by pressing it and dragging it, you can move the camera this way. It is really useful because sometimes when you have the model going in weird directions or positions, you can easily go and fix everything. We will see all the tools later. But for now, we will delete all the voxels in the scene by pressing the delete button. Now we have a clean scene. The first brush is the L and when you pass on the button, you can see down here the name of it. L stands for line. It affects the environment by creating a line. You can return back to one action by pressing Ctrl Z or move forward of one action by pressing Ctrl Y. C stands for center. You can choose a circle or a square by modifying the value down here by pressing on it. Click in a point and that will be the center. Then drag it and you will have a circle or a square. P stands for pattern. You have to press near file for the pattern section and select a model. Now we can interact with the scene with our model. V stands for voxel mode. You can choose down here the size from one voxel to 64. You can choose 2D with square and circle or 3D with cube and sphere. F stands for face. It affects one complete face. There are also some options for connections by color or geometry. And finally, B, or box mode. It affects all the voxels inside a box that we draw. As you can see, all the brushes have a different letter on its relative button. You can press that letter on your keyboard and you will have that brush selected. It's a shortcut and allows to change really fast between different brushes. I suggest you try and make some creations trying to use as many brushes as you can. It's really good for learning. This is everything for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below, subscribe and see you next time. Bye bye.